Hi, my name is Sahil Tiwari and you are watching this presentation on how I have implemented the optical character recognition in my projects. So my project name is extracting characters from images using OCR. Coming to the definition of OCR first, so it can be treated as an electronic conversion of any document in any image form like any scanned paper documents, PDFs, printed text or handwritten text into a machine encoded text. So why did OCR come into picture? Like uh, why did we, why do we use OCR? Since we are humans, so we have a tendency to make errors. For example, like in places you see in places like uh, banks and government offices, where you see clerks deal with massive amount of data entries of their customers. So there might be a certainty that most of them would make mistakes while entering data as this kind of job is usually monotonous as and uh, uh, as the and the moreover the customer frequency always increases and never decreases. So this can also um, Le uh, this can also lead to a leak in security documents and improper correction can also become a loss and sometimes uh, it's due to the human error as well like uh, uh, we may we might not be able to perceive characters due to like uh, lack of vision lack of clarity of image image illumination etc also the reason behind choosing OCR because it's one of the challenging research areas of pattern recognition and image processing like uh, most of the RTOs use these for uh, number plate identification. Uh, we can also use this for uh, a, a road signal like you take a photo of a road signal and then you can extract the words out of it and uh, moreover the research is going on some uh, handwritten recognition, cursive writing, calligraphy, etc. and uh, for the various languages recognition as well. So what we usually do is we analyze characters from a given image and then match the pattern from some uh, previously defined patterns in uh, which can be residing in our database or some sort of image files. So coming to the types of OCRs. So the first and foremost is the optical character recognition, which I have used in this project. So uh, it uh, involves any typewritten text. So what we do is uh, we do the character recognition using any matrix matching or a glyph. So a glyph is like a, a previously uh, like a image residing in your computer and when you extract characters you compare that with the image and thereby uh, thereby if uh, it is found to be true you extract the character and uh, you can output it into any file or store it in the database coming to the next part is the optical word recognition so it does the same thing or uh, it uh, it uh, scans that type of text instead of analyzing each character it analyzes one word at a time so, and using a white space as a delimiter even characters ocrs also use characters as a delimiter uh, but the space size is really less in character uh, ocrs than in owrs coming to the third type and that's the uh, most defined area of research right now so it uh, targets the handwritten texts or handwritten scripts and then use some uh, machine learning technologies, machine learning tactics to identify the characters written out of hand. Coming to the next topic that is the brief history. So first of all, let's see how this, oh, these, uh, the modern day OCRs came into picture. Uh, so coming to the first one that is the first generation OCR so its origin dates back to 1870s when a guy named uh, Carey invented a retina scanner or 
an image trans uh, transmission system. Then 20, 20 years later, that is around the year 1890, a sequential scan, scanner was created by a Polish guy named Nipko. And uh, thus, thus this, uh, these were the two, uh, I must say, the birth of OCR's uh, the, the birth of OCR came by two ways and then till the 1940s the OCR technology came to a halt till 1940s when computers were invented so this data entry part was uh, was handled by the punched cards so at that time the technology revolution occurred and uh, machine learning technology also matured and thus these OCRs also became commercially available. So the first machine of OC OCR was built in, was installed at Reader's Digest in 1954 uh, and it used to take type written reports, transform them into punch cards and that would act as input for computer processing. Though it flourished from 1962 65 this OCR had a limitation in reading characters as uh, most of them were developed machine specific coming to the second generation OCRs so these OCRs appeared between mid 1960s and early 1970s so these not only the advantage of these were uh, they not only recognize the machine printed letters but also the handwritten ones so the limitation was overcome by including numbers as well as special uh, symbols in addition to the alphabets. So the first of its kind was uh, IBM 1287, but uh, actually it's the company called Hitachi who made the first OCR with a better performance. Also, this was the era of standardization unlike ASCII code a study of uh, OCR requirements was done and American standard OCR character set called uh, OCRA was set up and its main purpose was to progress optical recognition coming to the third generation OCRs so these OCRs were developed in 1970s objective was to obtain high performance and low cost Though documents were of uh, poor quality and uh, handwritten characters uh, and uh, they were also the they also they were also the forerunners of the hardware technologies also printer spacing and uh, small font size made the OCRs more convenient so there were rough drafts that were cre uh, created in typewriters then fed to OCR machines and these would be used for editing purposes by the computers. Now coming to the modern generation OCRs or the OCRs we use right now. So these costs declined, uh, the hardware costs declined after 1986 and this led to the uh, uh, this led to the development of software packages for OCRs which we are using till date so the most important uh, advantage of these was that uh, these OCRs were sold every week and thereby contributed to the sales and uh, currently the researchers as I told in, at the starting of the presentation it involves uh, cursive writing, uh, handwritten recognition, and calligraphy recognition. So this is how a, topic, a, a typical OCR system looks like. You give an input text, in, uh, uh, you give an input text like, uh, it can be an image which contains a text. Uh, you can scan it, and then there are various, uh, various uh, stages of OCRs like the pre-processing, uh, feature extraction, uh, character recognition and then likewise I have uh, implemented the same thing I have outputted 
uh, outputted the characters into a text file after following all these steps. So the approach is, uh, there have been numerous approaches. So just the basic pipeline approach is like uh, you uh, partition the image into lines, words or characters. And then you recognize each or each one of them individually by either by matrix matching or using fuzzy logic or uh, structure analysis, feature extraction, artificial neutral, uh, neural networks. So I used uh, matrix matching. So what matrix matching does, it converts each character to a pattern within a matrix and then compares that pattern with uh, known characters uh, in my case, those known characters come from a glyph or an image, a small uh, resolution image. So this is very good for uniform single pages. Regarding the fuzzy logic, it's called as a multi-value logic. So it allows intermediate values to be defined between conventional answers like uh, yes or no, black or white. It is used uh, when uh, you have to deal with the decision kind of stuff like uh, uh, you have a you have an uncertainty and distinct answers are not involved. Uh, regarding the structure analysis, it identifies characters by examining the image features like uh, the shape, the sub-vertical or horizontal histograms. Uh, feature extraction, each, each character is defined by the presence or of key, uh, key features like uh, height, width, density, loops, and other character trails. And the last is the neural networks. So it samples pixels in each image and uh, matches them 